Hey guys, Moto Maverick here. Going on a quick ride. Thought I'd talk to you a little bit about how I selected this Triumph XRX. I actually just finished the camping trip. Got all my gear and my dry bag right behind me. Uh, I love doing these little, you know, one or two night overnight camping trips. Just uh, get away for a little bit. So that's what I did this weekend. I actually met some friends of mine. Uh, he had his big RV and everything. I just had my little one or two person tent, just big enough for me and, and my gear real easy to set up camp tear down I've got some pictures up on the website moto maverick usa.com see some of my uh, camping setup but anyway uh, not what I'm going to talk about today today I wanted to talk about the motorcycle that I'm riding right now this is my 2015 2016 2015 no it's 2015 I forget it's been a while <laughs> 2015 triumph tiger XRX uh, 800 cc um, I wanted something that was a little more upright uh, than you know sport bike or even my cruiser is a little too uh, laid back and and what for for long trips I got a bad back so something I can sit up right on and something's comfortable has all the creature comforts like you know uh, anti-lock brakes and the driver modes cruise control I can do heated grips which I don't have on this model uh, but I could have them installed tire pressure monitoring system that kind of stuff and uh, so a lot of the newer adventure bikes kind of fit the bill for all of that so then I started looking around at different options um, I'm relatively short five six five seven um, got about a 29 or 30 inch inseam so I wanted to be able to at least uh, touch on both sides uh, so that kind of limited my options on some of the taller bikes but um, a friend of mine has a, a Triumph one of the older uh, Tiger models so similar to this one but doesn't have a lot of the newer modes and uh, that was before they made the XRX which is the road model the XCX is more geared for off-road but uh, anyway so <coughs> started looking around at different things and and always thinking about the Tiger in the back of my mind um, oh wow it's a good view of the lake Anyway, um, so went to a couple of shows, sat on a lot of bikes, um, always still kind of thinking about the Tiger in the back of my mind, and I found one that I liked and uh, had the, I wanted the blue, found the color that I liked and uh, bit the bullet and picked one up and haven't looked back. Absolutely love this bike. Um, see one of those every day anyway um, so right now the way that I have this set up I just have the top case on the back I do not have the panniers um, I like the fact that the bike is slim I don't have to worry about hitting stuff with the panniers so I haven't put those on yet I have a feeling that once I start doing more trips and I'll need more gear probably pick them up um, my wife doesn't really ride with me a lot um, you know we'll do small trips around town going out to dinner or you know something but um, nothing that we would need a lot of gear for but if she does ever decide to travel with me, then we'll need the panniers and uh, all of that for storage. Right now, I just have a, a Wolfman dry bag that I actually uh, strapped down to the pillion 
So it actually serves as a backrest on longer trips, but also stores everything I need for either a camping trip or just a trip, uh, you know, around over to a friend's house or, you know, whatever, whatever it is. Uh, it works out really well. I buy a lot of the uh, backpacking, camping equipment, so it's light, packs down small. Everything I need fits in that one uh, dry bag. So real easy to load up and go. Uh, got a couple of sleeping pads. I had a cot that I was using, but it's a little bulky. Uh, found it. If I just double up on the sleeping pads, that usually will uh, get me a good night's sleep. Worked out pretty well last night. Have a couple of different ones that blow up one, one with foam in it. So um, lots of options there. Nice lightweight cooking setup, kitchen utensils, all that kind of stuff. All fits in that dry bag. So, but one of the things I like about this Tiger is if I wanted to get those panniers and have a lot of storage space and whatnot, I can I can do that. Just haven't needed it yet. So, if anybody's looking into uh, getting a bike like this for trips around town or camping trips or you know even I, I wouldn't even mind doing cross country stuff. Um, I actually rode this bike up to Colorado a couple years ago. Did the whole thing in one day, 14 or 16 hours, something like that. Can't remember. That was fun though. Um, bike did great. It was comfortable. Wasn't in too much pain when I got there. <laughs> Could probably do with a CD pad or something. But anyway, yeah. If you're looking into bikes like the adventure bike, I definitely suggest sitting on as many different ones as you can. Find something that feels comfortable for you. Uh, you know. I talked to a lot of my friends and if they're thinking about getting a bike, it's like, how'd you pick what to get? It's like, well, just sit on them. Go sit on every single thing that you can. Go to a motorcycle show, sit on all the bikes, find something that just fits. You'll know when you sit on it. It's like, yeah, this is comfortable. I like the seating position, the arms are in the right place, the, the height on the bars is in the right place, the seat's comfortable, I can touch um, the ground. You know, whatever it is you're looking for, you can find. You just got to sit on all the bikes you can. Um, I also really like the uh, the triple engine that this bike has. It's real torquey. Uh, you know, can get up and go when I want it to. Cruises at a comfortable RPM. I'm going 50 right now in six gear at you know 3,500 RPM. It's real comfortable. Doesn't feel like it's screaming. This is just a great overall bike. I love this thing. Um, I also put this V-Stream windscreen on the front. I did a review on that a while back. You go check out that video. Love this windscreen. Works out great with the bike. Uh, perfect option for cutting down on the buffeting, but uh, you know it's not overly big and bulky. I'm trying to figure out where my GPS is taking me. I don't want to get on the highway. Stupid. Whatever. I want to find another route here. I don't want to get on the highway. Should have been paying attention where I was going. Oh well. Well, I'm going to cut out for a little bit until I get to some uh, nicer roads. So, we'll see you all in a bit. And this is why you should always use two straps. Yep. That's neat. Well, hopefully that will be good enough to get me home. I only got about 10 more minutes. Here's a good look at the bike at least. All right. That was exciting. Let's get back on the road, shall we? 